can you distinguish between things you're going to owe money for and things you're sure. not going to owe money for just in a right. big way? So there are various sources of aid that I covered before, which is basically the federal government, the state government, as well as the various institutions. There are various types of aid. So that's the most important way to look at that. What's free money, what's not free money. Right. So the free money would be grants and scholarships. The not free money are student loans. Mm -hmm. Even the subsidized ones are not free money because mm -hmm. you do eventually have to pay them back. And then work study. For work study positions, you have to actually do some work to get that money. So that's not free money either. Okay. So in terms of grants and scholarships, there are, in addition to the institution that you're applying to, there are also grants and scholarships for varying foundations, um, local communities, for example, the local Kiwanis, um, Rotary Club, things like that often have um, scholarship opportunities and grant opportunities for institutions, uh, for students, excuse me, to attend institutions. Um, the loans, that's money that you have to pay back, but what's important there, are there are two different types of loans. It's the same loan program, but for one loan, it's subsidized, meaning you're not responsible for the interest while you're in school, and there are unsubsidized. Those loans, you are actually responsible for the interest while you're enrolled in school. And is that um, income-based? Some of them are. So for example, the subsidized loans, you must show need, financial need, in order to get a subsidized loan. However, a dependent student can also receive an additional unsubsidized loan on top of that. So for example, a freshman is eligible for up to $3,500 in a subsidized loan if he or she has need, and then an additional $2,000 in an unsubsidized loan if they need additional funds to cover their expenses. My recommendation uh, is to meet with your um, enrollment services counselor to see what dollar amount you need. Even though you're eligible up to 3,500, you may not need the full 3,500.